Good morning. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> it is our last full day, which is sad. One thing I am excited for about going home though is seeing our cat. I miss that silly kitty. Today is snorkel day. So we, I mean, sea we've already turtle day. Yeah, sea turtle day. Uh, hopefully, snorkeling with sea turtles. That's the goal. So we are headed to Ka Kahalu'u Beach for some snorkeling. And then after that, then we're going to Two Step. It's called Hanua, Han, Hanonua Nua Beach, I think. But people call it Two Step because there's two lava shelves that you step down into to get into the water. So those are our two snorkel places today. And we expect just to be spending the morning. So after that, we um, have one park, the City of, Ref City of Refuge that we'll be visiting um, and then our day is kind of open so we figure we'll just see what we feel like so we will see you at the beach. Wish us luck. Yeah, wish us luck with finding sea turtles to swim with, to snorkel with. That's the goal. You could, might be seeing us through water, but we just snorkeled for about half an hour at Ka'alua, no, Ka'alua um, Bay or beach. And we saw a lot of really cool fish and they're like right up to the shore even, but um, no sea turtles. What did you hear? This guy over there, um, he, when he was getting out, he was like, that was the largest sea turtle I've ever seen. And I was like, where'd you see it? And he said, over on the shallow part. Where we went. Over there. And then he followed it all the way out to the deeper side. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> They're definitely avoiding us. Yeah. It's you. It's me, because I want to see one so bad. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if we'll go back out here or head over to another beach and try our luck. Probably at two step. I'm gonna have a snack, though. So. Yeah. Hungry? I'm hungry. Okay. It's hard work. We, the waves were pretty big out there. I mean, look at those waves breaking there. We were out that far, and it was like I, I could not move. Yeah. So we came back in. We're doing the drive from Ka'alu'u Beach to Two Step. Oh, there it is. And the view is gorgeous. It's like a, th it's a 30 minute drive between the two. So if you're curious what the Kona area looks like, it from what we've seen, the north side of Kona, or like north of it, is barren, deserty. There's trees because people have planted them at resorts, but otherwise, um, pretty northwest empty. Northwest is a desert. Yeah, northwest of the island. But now we're south of Kona, and it's just been green the whole way. Also. Can we just talk about the weather on this trip, which is something that Austin mentioned this morning. Nothing to complain about. Like, we had some rainy days, but it, like, cleared up later By on. By the afternoon. Yeah, and it's just, I cannot complain about this weather. Yeah. Yeah, and even when it did rain, it's like, it, it would sprinkle a bit and then stop. We haven't had 
had any heavy downpours to deal with or anything, I feel lucky how nice it's been. Also, there's lots of coffee places as we're driving through here, which makes sense because Kona Coffee is from Kona. I'm a little sleepy. I'm definitely, like, it's probably a good thing that we're, that today's the last full day of our trip because I'm running out of steam. <laughs> we are seven minutes to this new place. Fingers crossed, Austin gets to swim with a dang turtle. Yeah, we no luck on that other beach. That's like the only thing we haven't done on this trip. Yeah, and that's one of the things that I was the most looking forward to. And I literally picked places to snorkel that, you know, websites and reviews and YouTube and whatever says, if there's turtles here, you have a good chance of seeing a turtle. Can you see all these pretty flowers along the road? There's just bushes and bushes of flowers. And there's butterflies, which isn't surprising because they're excited about the flowers. So we just, you know, climbed up the mountain and now we've come, oh, here we go. That's where we're going. It's a national park. There's some tiki's. This is the city of refuge. Um, what I know so far about it is that no wars were ever fought here. I don't know if that was intentional or by, hap you know, it just happened that way and, and then became the city of refuge because of that. Uh, but I'm sure we will learn about it because we're gonna go there after we snorkel. We made it to Two Step and we're here at the Two Steps. So you can see the first one and then you have to look down over there and there's the second one. And look, you can see the fish in the water right now. Yeah. Those yellow fish. There's black ones over there. I'm sure this lighting isn't great and we have we have marks on our face from our snorkel mask and we're eating snacks but this I like this place for snorkeling uh, this, this is, is a really best. good place this is yeah good note to end on right we didn't see a turtle 
and we tried our hardest. We went all over this place. I mean, seriously, we went from, oh, with, I don't know if you can see, but there's, there's rocks like right there. We went out around those rocks. We went all the way, we went way out there, like as far out as those rocks are. We went all the way over here, swam around in there. We went everywhere and saw no turtles. I don't think we should be disappointed because we saw some really cool fish, things we've never seen before. It's really pretty, like all the coral and the rocks and stuff. And I like that it's a little deeper. Um, I don't feel like I'm gonna run into a rock and scratch my knees up and whatever. I like, I like the openness below me as long as it's not so deep that I, like as, I like to be able to see the bottom, of course. So as long as it just doesn't get deeper than what I can see, I'm all good. And we actually went out so far that it was deep enough that you couldn't see. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm good. I'm not going down any deeper than that. <laughs> I kept calling it the city of refuge. It's actually a place of ref refuge is what it translates to. So it's over there. Um, and that's actually one of the buildings that you can see there. So that's our next stop. It is 1.43 right now. I'm much more awake after that snorkeling, which is actually surprising because I, I thought it would make me even more tired, you know? But I had a really good time and I'm having a really fun last day. So here, we're pulling into place of refuge. Place of refuge. Poo, no, poo, oh, on, oh man. I, I didn't have long enough. <laughs> I'll, I'll do better. Uh, I'll try again when I can see it. Oh, here it is. Poo. Hold on. Poo Anua O Hanua Nua. So this, it translates to place of refuge. It's a national park. Do I have to pay to get in? Yes, we do have to pay to get in. So a cool thing just happened. We pulled up and she goes, Do you want a map? And, and we were like, Yes, please. And she goes, it's free today, so you're good. And we were like, what? <laughs> it's um, it's National Public Lands Day today, so national parks are free to enter. So we just saved 20 bucks. Yeah, cool. Now we're gonna have to eat it, right? Yep. We're gonna, we're gonna have to get some Spend lunch. It somehow. <laughs> Give it to Hawaii somehow, right? over here on the other side of the boat dock. This is for like kids to just yeah, swim in. Yeah, kids could swim there. We were over there. Yeah, way over there. But you could see where our car is parked right from here. Yeah. Where it was parked. And we went all the way out to there. All the way out to there. <laughs> Okay, so this is Konei. I'm guessing you'd say that E, Konei. It's a Hawaiian strategy game played with black and white pebbles on the stone playing surface called Papa Mu. They can be any size and carved into a lava service, surface. If you'd like to play, we, we ask for rules at the visitor center and we can play. Hmm. That's so cool. That is cool. What a pretty place to play too, right? Yeah. Um, they're carved into rock and may be used for dyeing bark cloth, tanning fish, tanning fishing nets, or pounding awa root to make a ceremonial drink. Wait, these are real? Yeah. That's so cool. Close. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that that happens. So the moisture in the tree cooled the lava and, and made a mold of the tree. Still alive. Yep. Kione Ele. I'm getting good, right? I'm yep. probably pronouncing that wrong, but I sound like I know what I'm saying. <laughs> this protective cove, protected cove was 
Kapu. I don't know what that means. Only Ali'i, I know that means chief, could land canoes here. At times, Honu, sea turtles, rest on the shore. Please watch them from a distance. They are protected by law. So but at no. times, no, of course not, because Austin's here, so there's not going to be any turtles out. But um, it, this is saying that only chief were allowed to row their canoes into this area. This is the Great Wall. It's up to 12 feet tall, 18 feet wide. Oh, wow. And over 950 feet long. It divide, defines the sacred space of the Pu'uhonoa. The wall was constructed over 400 years ago using dry set masonry, which are stones fitted without mortar. You think you could just climb it at only 12 feet tall? Yeah. But they probably could defend it yeah. easier. This building right here was a royal mausoleum that housed the bones of 23 chiefs, um, including Kamehameha's great-grandfather. These bones give this immense mana. Hawaiians still revere this place and sometimes leave offerings on the tower. The wooden images are ki'i representing Hawaiian gods. And you can see somebody has left offerings here. And look at this. They left a lei and everything. So this signpost here is just marking that this is Pu'uhonua. And it says, imagine scrambling out of the waves onto the rough lava. Although exhausted and out of breath, now you are safe. In a few days, you can be absolved by a priest and can go home. So I guess people in trouble would swim here hmm. from wherever. Interesting. So this rock is the Kioua stone. And according to local tradition, it was a favorite resting place of Kioua, a high chief. Holes in the lava surrounding the base may have supported a coconut leaf canopy. Maybe, I don't see where. Oh, right here, right here. That's so cool. Would be a nice place to sit. Yeah, it would. Imagine just sitting on this and just looking out at the ocean. That'd be the life. So this is just a platform. It says it was built in seven stages and after the Hale O Kiawe, that one over there, replaced this Kiyo, I don't know what that is. Oral tradition describes the chiefs as relaxing and watching hula on the platform. Hmm. So it's like a stage. Yeah. Oh, cool. The Ka'ahu Manu stone. Legend holds that Queen Ka'ahu Manu, a favorite wife of Kamehameha, swam to the Pu'u Hanua after they quarreled. She hid under this stone, but her barking dog revealed her location. Oh, fortunately, she and her husband reconciled. Cute little pond. Look at the holes. Oh, where are those from? I think that's just lava rock. Wow. These Ankialine, I don't know. These pools held fish to be eaten by the Ali'i. Hmm. So this was the fish pond. You just stored your fish here until it was time to eat them. Yeah. This is the smaller of the two buildings, and it says that this is where the artisans would work to... You can see there's some tiki being caught. Well, I don't, they're not called that. They're called ki, I think? Ki. Um, being carved, and... Oh, look at the coconut pile. Mm -hmm. I just walked under this creepy spider web. Can you... That's a spider. That is the prettiest spider I've ever seen. But also, I hate it. It's like... It looks like a little tiny, tiny flower. It's got its legs all tucked in. Wow. What a cool spider. So we just wrapped up at that national park. We saw everything. We even went into the gift shop and we bought one more souvenir because we figured, hey, we didn't have to pay to get in, so we'll give them some money by buying this souvenir. Look at it, it's pretty cute. It's temporary tattoos. And the um, it 
says it supports local wildlife conservation, which I love. So now, Austin just can't believe that he hasn't had any Spamasubi since we've been here. And so that's the last thing we have to make sure we get. So we're headed right now. Strangely, I looked up the best Spamasubi in Kona, and a lot of things were telling me this place called Queen K76, and it's a gas station. And apparently, in Hawaii, gas stations are <laughs> known for having good hot food. I don't know. Um, and this one specifically has good Spamasubi, so we're gonna go get him some Spamasubi there. It's a 40 minute drive um, back up there because it's it's just a little ways past our Airbnb in Kona, which is like right on Ali'i Drive, as we mentioned. And, um, and now, by the way, now that we went to this place, this place of refuge, now I know what Ali'i means, it means chief. So it's that main strip in Kona is Chief Drive, which I think is pretty cool. I learned something. Should we talk now about, um, since we have a long drive, should we talk about what we think about Kauai versus the Big Island? I don't know. I like both islands, but this one has more things to do. Yeah. Yes, I, I feel like. Because, it's a lot bigger. Yeah, a lot bigger. Oh, fun fact. The Big Island in landmass is bigger than all the other Hawaiian islands combined. Yeah, and it's getting bigger. And, bigger. and it's getting bigger, yeah, when the, when the volcano erupts. I think I, I do like the Big Island better. If but, you had to pick one. Yeah, but... You don't have fun. to pick one. You can just say what you like about each island and anything you don't like, if there's anything you don't like. There's nothing I don't like. Yeah. It's just everything's just really nice. Yeah. I know, there hasn't been anything I don't like either. I do kind of think that I like Hilo better than Kona, but there are some really pretty beaches here in Kona, and I don't know if there are beaches that pretty in Hilo. I mean, pretty if you like, it depends on your definition of pretty, right? Pretty if you like lava rock and that kind of thing, then there, then there's really pretty beaches in Hilo, but that Mauna Kea beach that we went to, that was the prettiest beach I've seen on this whole trip. Um, and it was, you know, like white, white, fine, really, really, really fine sand. Um, so that was, that was fun to, to get to one, one really, really nice beach. Stereotypically nice, I guess. I don't know that I could pick one, but I, I kind of agree with what you're saying that the, there's so much to do on the big island and so much like extreme diversity in, in landscapes and what you see. And that's exciting. We've definitely done some really exciting things here. Um, just going up into the mountains and it's just so cool just being able to, you know, go up to thousands of feet and then all the way down to sea level and just, there's so many things you can do here. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's really gorgeous. Especially this area, the south of Kona, I mean Hilo for sure, but on this side of the island, this piece that we're driving on south of Kona is really lush and pretty and just gorgeous views of the ocean on the along the drive here and I have no complaints I just don't I don't think there's a bad island like, oh I'm I sure there's not good. yeah yeah so we've been to Oahu Big Island and Kauai we're gonna have to come back to Maui one day maybe go to Oahu again I tried to take pictures with my phone in the ocean today of the snorkeling because I hadn't taken any and they were horrible. If you have any recommendations on a phone case, like a waterproof phone case that actually take, like allows your phone to still take pictures through it that aren't blurry, horrible messes, you know, because of the like material blocking it, let me know. I need to get myself a better waterproof phone case because I always take my phone with me I like to be able to check the time and just have my phone on me. I don't know. It's just for if I need it. And so I've always got it out there in the water, but I, I never take pictures because it's so bad through that case. Anyway, we will let you know what Austin thinks of his Spamasubi once we get there. So we went to Queen K76, which is actually Texaco now. So it's Queen K Texaco. And I wanted to show you what we got. So 
I like these Mott's fruit snacks because they are not made with gelatin and I've never seen this tropical fruit flavor before so that's gonna be delicious and then I got a bao they had a bao bun so this is a taro a sweet potato um, bao bun and then we found an ube roll um, it's cold it's refrigerated so we'll try that and Austin got his masubi if I can, he got two so he got a regular spam masubi and then a spicy spam masubi and then we love poppy seed muffins and this looks like a Costco poppy seed muffin which are the best kind and so Austin ran out of breakfast food um, so he got this for himself for breakfast <laughs> And that's it, but that was $20, $20.67, so pretty expensive. What did you think of your musubi? It was delicious. Which one was better, regular or spicy? Probably regular, because, I don't know, it, it tasted like it had a little bit more flavor than spicy, but spicy was good. Okay, my bun, my bao, was really good, like way better than I expected. Yeah, I got a bite, and it yeah. was good. It had sweet potato inside, so it was kind of sweet, just a little. Not extremely sweet, and it was just fluffy and delicious. <clears throat> and so, we just came back to the um, condo real quick because we're we're not going to eat this right now, and it needs to be refrigerated. So we're going to refrigerate it, and then we're going to go back on Ali'i Drive and souvenir shop just a little bit more because I really want a magnet that says Big Island. We found one that says Hawaii, but it's like the it's like the state of Hawaii, and I want the island of Hawaii. It's what time is it right now? Like five. 4.58. Yeah. 4.58, so it's 5 right now. So we will check in again soon. You can probably hear the AC running over there. We are sitting out on our balcony. We're sitting out here watching the sunset. It is 6.12. The sun officially sets at 6.17 in 5 minutes. So we came out just to watch. We've been hanging out in the room again for an hour or so, and it's, we never do this. And it's been really nice to take it a little slower on these last couple days. Also, let me say, People will tell you that you need a whole week on each island. Yeah, if you want to do every single thing. <laughs> but like, I mean, we didn't go ATVing, we didn't go horseback riding, we didn't do any of the tours. Like, we didn't go on a snorkeling tour, we didn't do the manta ray dive. Maybe if you were doing those kind of things, you would need more time because those take like set number of hours. But we just like to do everything kind of on our own. So maybe, maybe that's why we can do it and last time also we're like go 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 yeah that's <laughs> why because there's people that go on vacation they just like sit and lounge like and have I a lazy understand day that. they just sit on the beach for the whole day just doing that every day is not for me i i'm just like i want to get out there get and see bored. everything you just yeah get bored. anyway we're gonna watch the sunset and we will turn back in So we're on Ali'i Drive and we're looking out into the like bay right now. I don't think we came down this far yesterday. We just went into another ABC store just to see if maybe they have different magnets and they did not. So we're gonna go get shave ice now. Okay, so we got our Scandinavian shave ice. Oh, oh my goodness. I was going in for it. Oh my gosh. So this is mango, pog, and lehing, Leeing something, I can't remember. Um, it's like one of their flavors. And then it's got Dole Whip inside. Yeah. You can't see it, but it's in there in the middle. Um, and yeah, it, it seems good. Austin's clearly about to try it. And we're sitting outside of Gertrude's. Well, the Scandinavian Shave Ice is right there. That's the gift shop we're gonna go to. And then Gertrude's is up there and they have live music, as you can hear. So, so let's see. We're listening to live music. Yeah. Eating, eating our shave ice. ice. How is it? It's good, but it's cold. <laughs> I'm gonna get a I'm brain not, freeze. I'm not used to having it cold right now because, you know, I've been out. In the, in the heat, yeah, we haven't had anything cold for a long time. Oh. So we're in a gift shop called Tasty Kona and they have snacks and, and stuff, but look at this mug. Vegan zombie. Greens. <laughs> Okay, we did it. We found this shop right here, the store of Hawaii, and we did it. Here it is. 
a Big Island specific magnet. We did, we went to all of those places except for, I don't think we made it there because we didn't go, I'm not sure, I'll have to look it up because we definitely came down the coast here to go to that place of refuge, but that's the farthest down the coast we came on this side. And then over here, we came down to here for the Black Sand Beach. So I'm not sure, we might have made it that far, but pretty perfect. And then we also got, I've been eyeballing the different pancake mixes this whole trip. So we finally caved at our last store and I got one of these fun flavored pancake mixes and Austin's gonna have to make me some pancakes when we get home. I always make her um, like miniature pancakes. Yeah, I love mini pancakes. It is 8.30. Are done. <laughs> yeah, so. we did it. We did the trip, you know, and we did it well. And it, this has been a great trip. So it's been a great day, a great trip. Oh, what was your favorite part of the trip? Like, what was the highlight for you? Right? Like, ten things come to mind for me. I can't. I don't know how I could pick one. I, I can't. No, I can't. I loved the tubing. Tubing was great. I loved going up Mauna Kea and looking at the stars. It was amazing. There were other things that just kind of blew our mind. Snow oh, the boring. Hawaii, the volcanoes. When you looked out over the, the caldera and went, <laughs> yeah, amazing snorkeling. Even the botanical garden was beautiful. Yeah, just everything. So sweaty though, <laughs> there. Um, I, there's so much more that we did, I just can't think of it right now. Yeah. What's fun is that I have video evidence of all of it so that I can't forget because I have a terrible memory. So I take pictures and video, and that's actually why I started doing this and how it became, oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll make it into vlogs and post yeah. it on YouTube because yeah. I'm recording it anyway. Like, we want to do this, so let's just. And she wanted to shorten them up, so it's like it's not like we have. Yeah, exactly. Terabytes of just. Film. Right, we record so much, and I, you just can't watch it all. So making it into vlogs makes it chunks yeah, that is. It's shareable to family. Uh, which like and that. my parents are our biggest fans and <laughs> <laughs> oh speaking of if you're watching this you know and you want to see extra glimpses that you're not seeing here go to my instagram it's at rachel cheyenne cheyenne is spelled c-h-e-y-a-n-n -N, and i put it in the description of all the videos um because i always do a story highlight of all of our trips so i've got a highlight up for this trip i've got a highlight up for jamaica europe Canada like going years many years back and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow for a bit. Yep. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good I mean morning. I mean really it's good morning. Bad morning. <laughs> what? I think that's just funny. We're leaving that's why it's a bad morning. So we're all packed up as you can see all the bags in the back. It's 7:59, and we're out you know, on the road, on the way to drop off the rental car. So we did good. So come with us to the airport. I was just talking about how many airports we've been to. We started at Portland, went to San Francisco, then went to Lihui, and then we went to Hilo. And now we're at Kona and we're going back to Honolulu and back to PX. So five different airports <laughs> on this trip. We're at our gate. This is a strange airport. Like. It's not very straightforward to find your gate. It just kind of seems like everything's all over the place. And it's all outdoor. Like, you know, um, Hilo or Lihui at least is, when, once you get to your gate, um, it's, in, it's air conditioned and enclosed, but everything else is open. But this, we're at our gate right now and we're outside. <laughs> I've never boarded outside like this before. <laughs> we made it to Honolulu. That flight was like really short. Yeah. We were supposed to arrive at 10.33. It's 10.33. And we're off the plane and almost to our next gate. We made it back to Portland, and we made it early even. We really? landed at like 8.20, 8.25, and we weren't scheduled until 8.40. We're good. just waiting for our bag now, and then we'll get a lift ride home, and that'll be the end of the trip. 
It was a very smooth flight. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think they ever turned on the seatbelt light. We've, we've had a great trip. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming along. And we'll see you on the next one, which isn't too far from now when we go to Tennessee and Dollywood, which we are very much looking forward to. Yep. Bye.